In this video, we're going to talk about sending multiple tasks to invoices with different invoice dates, and then also taking those invoices from the service program, and we're going to batch post that in the QuickBooks so everything shows up on one invoice. Then I'm going to show you how to turn on the service date column inside of QuickBooks so that you can now show the date that certain items were done on that one invoice. So let's start out here. Let's say you already invoiced your tasks. If you're not sure how to invoice a task, refer to one of the task videos, um, the one that will show you how to invoice tasks. If you're not sure how to get that, please email training at westromsoftware.com, and from there we'll shoot you the video. So the first thing we have here is we have a customer named Brazil Food Market. You'll see that I've showed up on three different days, and each date has its own set of line items in there. I'm going to show you how to combine that, and then we'll make some changes in QuickBooks so that your customers know when you added what items. First thing is you've got to have them on the open invoice list, which we do. Next thing we're going to do is go to miscellaneous. You can just click on miscellaneous. It's going to open up post invoices in batch. We're going to enter a beginning and ending date. That's the date of these invoices. If you have invoices for 414, 420, and 430, your beginning date is going to be 414, and your ending date will be 430. Okay. The next area here is going to be the date to show on invoice. That's the date that you want the physical invoice to show up as. So let's do our beginning and ending date. I had uh, invoices on 414, 415, and 416. So I'm going to go ahead and just encompass those dates on this range here. And then for the date that I'm going to show on the invoice, I'm just going to have it show up as May 1st. And I do want to combine the customer invoices onto one, so yes. And I do not want to check off either of these options. The next step is to hit post. And are you sure you want to post? Yes, I do. It says it's done. Let's bring up QuickBooks. And let's click on Brazil Food Market. There's our invoice. It's dated as 5-1. Now, when you go in the invoice at first, it doesn't look like we've done anything special besides combine those three invoices. So all the charges are showing up. And now you want to know what date you've actually added each one of these line items to the customer. So we're going to turn on the service date. What we're going to do is, first of all, when you get in your QuickBooks, you'll probably be on this main column here with all these options. Click where it says Formatting, right here. And then we're going to click on Customize Data Layout. When we do this, it's basically going to tell us we're just using a copy. This is a temporary copy. If you want to know how to do this permanently, just Google how to change your template permanently inside of QuickBooks and put in your QuickBooks version number when you do that. It'll give you some good results. So this is temporary. I'm just going to make a copy so I can show you how this works. On this pop-up here, we're going to select this Columns tab and then Service Date. We're going to check it off to show on the screen. And if we want it to show like that on the printout, we're going to check that off also, just telling us we have overlapping fields. It's OK for now. Let's just hit Continue and then we're going to click Close. What we've done is we've turned on the service date column. And notice the dates in here are the dates from each invoice. So my invoice that had the date of 415, any items that came from there are showing up as 415. Here's my 414 invoice and my invoice for 416. So we've just combined all three invoices into one when it went to QuickBooks, and then we turn on the service date column so the customer can see when you actually showed up on site and added those items.